All right, welcome back. Great job in going through that last video. You're now to the last video finally, right? So in this video, we're gonna cover a little bit of animations and transitions and hovering and clicking, okay? Very basic stuff, shouldn't last more than five minutes. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, sick. So basically all we wanna do is get this effect where we hover and we click. So this should probably take like two minutes tops, if I'm being 100% honest. And um, it's really easy. Um, I'm clicking when it turns like that and yeah, so this is where we're at and feel free to adjust the values So they better match the original project. Basically all you'd have to do is change the grid gap to like it's probably zero pixels on my original project uh, not on that one, but on On this one layout list and Then like the margins probably somewhere around 10 pixels on the side and then like five pixels four pixels up top and bottom uh, other way around four pixels five, 10 pixels. Okay. That was completely uh, Up to you if you wanted to do that. I decided to just do it Okay, so that's gonna be it for that Let's go ahead and jump into those transitions now the very reason I actually started this video Okay, so let's go to our card and let's say that when we hover on a card So and hover basically all that's doing is saying dot list card and then it's saying hover, okay? That's all that's doing, that ampersand there. Again, I'll make a video on the ampersand and CSS nesting, SCSS nesting. If you want, leave a comment down below asking if you do want that. Otherwise, I'm probably not gonna make it. <laughs> Maybe I will, I don't know. Okay, so what we need to do is say, when we hover on this, we need to say transform, and we'll say scale, and we'll say 1.03, or whatever value you want, you want to put, value you want to put. Okay, you'll see that now, but it doesn't really uh, transition, right? So we need to add in a transition. So we need to say transition all 0.3 seconds ease. Now you'll see it transitions. So super cool. Now the last thing we need to do is just add another one and say active and say transform and then just say rotate and we'll say two degrees. Okay, now this is gonna work, but it's gonna cancel out our hover. Hmm, well, I thought it would. Basically, it should cancel out the hover because we're redefining transform without scale on it. So really what we should have to do is say scale 1.03. I'm really not sure why they didn't do that for that, but it seems like a logical flaw on the development of the SCSS side. But yeah, that's uh, how you do that. And uh, those are transitions in SCSS in our project. And that's it for this video and the series. Leave a comment down below if you liked it. Please leave a like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys in future videos and uh, series. Also, check out my free Udemy courses below. You can have them. I don't even care. All right. See you guys later.